Hi, I'm Scott, uh, down here in Cancun, Mexico, about uh, 33 Celsius or uh, 95 Fahrenheit or so, pretty hot, always a lot of sun down here. Got a problem with this Mini Cooper with the window, uh, just about popped, totally loose. Uh, what we're going to do today is use some 3M products, uh, a little bit of cleaning materials, and see if we can glue this back in uh, with an ultraviolet uh, component to it, which we'll get to shortly. Let's have a closer look at this window and see what we can do. Now you can see here the windows totally come loose from the canvas. This is a kind of a mess. I've tried various types of glues, uh, urethanes, all kinds of stuff, but nothing seems to hold it for more than, I don't know, two or three days down here in this hot tropical sun. Got a problem here too with this canvas. Uh, again, I've tried various types of glues. Nothing seems to work. So let's go in and uh, have a look at the products that we're going to need to do this job. Okay, the things we're going to need is nitrile gloves. I don't want to get some of these products in my hands. Uh, they sound a little dangerous when you read about them on the internet. This is a 3M product called uh, Single Step Primer. And what this stuff does is allow the canvas and the, and the glass to adhere really well to this next product, which is Window Weld, also made by 3M. This single step primer also has an ultraviolet factor in it, and I think that's critical. I've read a lot of stuff on the internet where people have not used the primer, and the window weld comes off in about well, maybe a year and a half. Now down here in the tropics, it is hot, hot all the time. We've got relentless sun, and so I really want this, this UV uh, protector to work uh, on the window. Okay, these are... Um, little suction cups that I that I bought in England off of eBay. I think they were about, I don't know, 48 US dollars for six of them. And, uh, I don't know, 10 bucks for shipping. Got here in about two weeks. Uh, these I'll show you later what these suction cups are going to do. Uh, now, they, everybody seems to recommend a dauber. That's a dauber. But unfortunately, it's got some PVC glue on it. So I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to try some turpentine to remove the uh, glue from this dauber and see what happens. So I've got an old bottle cap here. I've got a bottle of Mexican uh, Aguaras, which in English is turpentine. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll give it a shot. And I've got my Mexican Windex to keep the window, uh, to, to clean up the window, and obviously some paper towels. I also have uh, a single-sided razor blade, which I picked up down here in Cancun at Home Depot. And we're going to use that uh, later to cut uh, the, the urethane product, the polyurethane product. So, let's cut to the chase and go outside and get started. Now, the first thing I want to do is remove this window. Now, I see a lot of people on the internet using uh, masking tape at this point, but I think it's pretty easy to tell. I don't even need that razor. This is so easy to pop out. No problem at all. Okay, I successfully, uh, I successfully got the window out. And on the Mini Cooper, this is a 2010 model. It was pretty easy uh, on both sides to remove this uh, little plug. Just basically just pull it out. And exactly the same thing on the other side of the window. So pretty easy to reinstall the electric portion of the window. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit with uh, some Windex. And I'm going to scrape all of this old silicone off of here with my with my uh, razor blade. So let's clean that up and we'll continue on shortly. I noticed on uh, 3M's website that they say it's not necessary to take uh, to take all this black uh, polyurethane off. In fact they they like you to leave some of the manufacturers urethane polyurethane on there so the new stuff will adhere better. What I'm trying to do is remove this old silicone that I tried because I don't want any silicone in there or any other uh, glues that I've tried before. So that's the objective right now, just to get rid of this old glue and leave just a little bit of the existing polyurethane. Now it's a little bit difficult removing some of this, but uh, probably take me half an hour. I'll remove as much of this old silicone as I can. Wow, I just have to pick at it and do the best I can with this razor. 
I might rough it up a little bit with some kind of a brush. I'll do a little experimenting. See it's coming off. This will probably take half an hour. Well, I've had the dauber in the turpentine for, I don't know, maybe half an hour. I just pulled it out and I'm not sure. It still kind of feels a little funky, like uh, there might still be a little um, of that PVC glue in here. I'll think about a plan B. Maybe um, a bunch of cotton swabs all bunched together. Let me think what else. No, this might work. I'm going to go stick this in the sun for a while and see what it feels like when it dries. Okay, I have the back window glued in. Uh, I did notice one thing. It's really important that you put the top of the window on first. And it pulls this back just a little bit. If you don't, at the bottom, there'll be like a, like a half an inch gap. Like two centimeters or a centimeter and a half. It just barely comes up. Okay, so here's my plan. I've only got, how many clamps have I got? I've got six clamps. And I think that's enough to do the window. Anyway, as I said, put the top on first, the, the top row with the three clamps, and then just put a single clamp at the bottom for now, two in the sides. Uh, my plan is just to glue the top. I'll wait a few hours for it to harden up. I'll remove these clamps in the top, and then I'll go ahead and do the bottom. So that's the plan. So the next step is to get my uh, the little silver can of the UV stuff. And I have my dauber, which I cleaned up with the turpentine. It seems to be okay. So let's put that uh, liquid on now. Ah, I forgot to tell you, at the, on the inside of the car I put uh, four, four small pillows really pushing hard against the window. And that helps to, to make this nice and even as best I can. Puts a little pressure this way. Okay, this is the 3M single step primer. I'm going to shake it for... Well, 30 seconds or so until I hear this little ball rolling around inside and I'm going to take my dauber and I'm going to do maybe this one section here on the left so let's remove this one clamp and hopefully it won't fall okay clamps off I'll just have a look at this I haven't got anything on the dauber yet I'm just practicing yeah I guess I can run through there okay seems to be reasonable. Let's try it. So, I'll open this little can. Who knows, maybe there's a dauber already in here. Uh-uh. This stuff is really black. Looks like just liquid soap. Yeah. Just, just like water. Okay, so we'll put this on. No, it's really dry. Put some more on this dauber. Oops, spilled a little bit. Yeah, a little bit's going on. I don't know how hard this will be to get off, but I'll run in the house for a cloth in a sec. No, maybe I better do that like immediately. Who knows how long this dries. Oh yeah, it comes off with a razor, no problem at all. Close one. It doesn't seem to be sticky in any way. Kind of like black paint, that's what it feels like to me. Okay, we're ready to put the uh, 3M window weld on. Kind of a short lifespan on this stuff. I just bought it from Amazon.com. This is uh, the end of May 2016. This stuff's only good till January 2017, so what do we got? Seven or eight months? Doesn't have a long lifespan. On the bottom, they've got this to prevent air from going in, so let's open that. Looks like you're everyday standard silicone type tube. So we'll take a nail and just pop a hole in this. Now I know from looking at other videos that this is a really got a high viscosity which means it's like super thick. So I'm gonna make this hole as big as I can. Looks kinda of like like a black tar. Okay. So we'll stick it in my handy glue gun. Crank around a little bit. 
And I gotta run in and run back in the house and cut a little 45 degree angle on this. Be right back. <laughs> 